Hello lovely people, welcome back to another video. How are you all doing today? Tonight's video is, I hope, going to be quite a nice calming video to help get you into the autumn spirit, just something nice and cosy with a slight challenge aspect to it. So this evening I want to read as many books as I possibly can in one night. Now I have deliberately chosen smaller books slash graphic novels, so I'm trying to aid myself already in this, but it's been a while since I've done a challenge video like this. I'm a little bit slumpy at the moment, as you may have seen from last week's vlog, so I really would like to try and get out of that slumpy feeling. So I thought this would be quite fun to do, to try and read a couple more books and just hopefully try and get myself more in the reading mood. So I have a TBR, kind of, that may change, <laughs> depending on what I fancy reading throughout the night. Obviously this is literally just gonna be like, well, what time is it now? It's currently 6.30 and I'll probably go to bed at about 11.30, 12.30ish, so it's gonna be however long I stay awake for, but it's not the longest amount of time. However, I feel like this could still be really good fun. So I'm gonna show you what is on my TBR. So first up, I have got a graphic novel. This, I think is probably the first book I'm gonna go for just so I can give myself a little bit of a boost. This is V.E. Schwab's Extraordinary. This is the first one in the new graphic novel series. I have not read this one yet. I've been waiting and waiting to read it. So I'm really excited to dive into this. This is part of the villains world, which I absolutely loved for V.E. Schwab. So I'm really, really excited to read this one. And I hope this should set me off to a good start. Also on my TBR is The Hedgewitch by Carrie Thomas. This is a prequel to Threadneedle, which I read a couple of months ago and really loved. It's a really fantastic contemporary fantasy, so I'm really excited to follow Rowan in this book because I really enjoyed her in Threadneedle. This is quite small, this is about 125 pages, so I'm quite hopeful, maybe, <laughs> to be able to read this book tonight. I, again, I don't know, I'm kind of doubting myself at this stage, but I'm gonna give it a go. I was trying to pick out smaller books on my TBR if I could. However, I think just because a book is small doesn't mean it's necessarily a light and easy read. And I think maybe this might be the case with Ms. Ice Sandwich by Maiko Kawakami. This is following a little boy who I think is dealing with quite a lot in this book, which is why I'm saying that this isn't necessarily gonna be a light read. It is under 100 pages, so it's definitely a short read, but I don't know how easygoing it's gonna be. So this one, I think, will be one that I like to leave till the end of the evening if I manage to finish these two. I don't know. I don't know yet what the format's going to be, but these are my three books on my TBR for the evening. It's really, it shouldn't be too daunting, but it is. But I'm going to give it a go because I would really love to cure this reading slump. I really hope you enjoy this video. I'm looking forward to the challenge of it all. It should be quite good fun, nice and cozy, and I'm looking forward to starting reading. Before we dive into this video properly and dive into this reading challenge, I just wanted to talk to you about the collaboration I'm working on for this video because it makes perfect sense and combines perfectly with the idea of reading late into the evening. Today's video is working in collaboration with serious readers to talk to you about their high definition lights. With this light, you can see more clearly with lights built for performance, not just decoration. I've been using my light for a few weeks now and I really am noticing the difference every day it makes to my nighttime reading routine. Sirius Readers is a British company and the Sirius Lights range is built in the UK. Sirius Lights uses daylight wavelength technology, which replicates the daylight spectrum as closely as possible. I decided to go for the high definition floor light, which I think fits perfectly in with my cozy little reading corner. I really like the simple and elegant design of this light. I feel like it would fit with a lot of different home styles. I love that it's mixed with an ease of use and also an adjustable beam width to make it the perfect reading light for me. As the nights start to draw in and we get these longer evenings, I'm loving that I can keep the cosy atmosphere that I've got in my lounge whilst also not having to strain my eyes to be able to keep reading for longer. I genuinely really do love this product. I've been using it every single night since I got it. Not only does it help me with my reading life, but I also find that it helps when I'm sat drawing and doing art in the evenings too, and it just helps me see every detail on the page. If you're interested in finding out more details about the series Reader's Lights, I will leave all the details that you need linked down below. You can also use my offer code BNEST1 to receive a free compact light with any purchase in the Sirius Lights range. This includes the high definition light, the Alex light and the classic light. I've put my little compact light in my office and I just think it's the perfect light to brighten up my space, stop my eyes from straining when I'm working later at night and I just think it looks perfect in the little corner of my desk here. Thank you so much for supporting my content and thank you Sirius readers for working with me on this promotion. Now let's get into this reading challenge.
finished my first book of the night. I finished Extraordinary. I haven't yet run this through Corpal because I literally just finished it, but I think this is gonna come out as around a four to 4.5. I love the Villains series anyway, and this was just a fantastic addition to that series in graphic novel format. I really enjoyed it, and now I want the whole series in graphic novel format. It gave a bit of a, a look into the original story and then kind of built on that with new characters and stuff, which was really, really cool. So I really liked this, and now I think I'm gonna move on to The Hedge Witch. Hello, it is currently 10.16 and my eyes are a little bit sore, but I have made good progress, hence the sore eyes. I am about 30 pages away from the end of The Hedge Witch. So far, this is just as brilliant as Threadneedle. Threadneedle had a really brilliant theme of friendship running through it, and this definitely has that as well. It's good fun. It's a fun magic system. I really enjoy the different paths that the magic system goes off into. I think Rowan is a really great character to follow. I really like her attitude to things and the narrative voice that she offers. Generally, really liking it. I definitely think I'm gonna be able to finish this one tonight. I don't know whether I'm gonna be able to move on to Ms. Ice Sandwich or not, but I mean, I might try and at least start it, but so far, well, I'm saying so far, like I'm not many hours into this challenge already, but, it's going well. I need to log this on Goodreads. I haven't done any logging or anything like that for a while now. I need to catch up. I need to do core pile and everything. I've, I've been slacking. So I'm gonna go do that as well once I finish this and let you know what I actually rate it and what I actually rated Extraordinary as well because I haven't yet run that through core pile either. I need to get better at that. So I'm gonna go do those things and I'll let you know when I'm finished. Okay, second book of the night finished. It is now 10.57. And I, I may regret saying this, but I'm gonna start Ms. Ice Sandwich and just see what it's like. I'm not saying I'm gonna finish it, but I'm gonna start it because I feel like I am on, on a roll with the challenge now and I wanna keep going. So yes, I finished The Hedge Witch. I really liked it. I gave it four out of five stars. I gave Extraordinary 4.5 out of five stars. Now I've rated them all properly. Um, Extraordinary was just fantastic, absolutely loved it, loved being back in that world. The Hedge Witch, again, similar actually, love being back in that world. These are both kind of side books from a main series, so I really liked this one, and I think I've pretty much said all my thoughts on it already, and I agree with what I said earlier, the ending didn't change that perspective, so yeah, four out of five stars for this one. And now I'm gonna try and start my third book of the night. <laughs> finished it. I have managed to read three books this evening. Granted, one was a graphic novel and two were very, very short. However, I count this as a success given that I didn't realise I hadn't actually finished any books yet this month and it is currently midway through the month. So, success! Yay! I quite like this one. It felt sad to me because it was about a young boy who I felt didn't quite fit in anywhere and was very much distracting himself with this 
in his own kind of interests and his fixation on this woman who works worked at the sandwich shop that he liked to visit and he kept getting distractions put in his way from being able to go and see this woman and being able to kind of fixate on her further and those distractions ended up being things that both hindered and helped him and I just felt quite sad for him a lot of the time even though it wasn't all bad stuff that was happening I just, I don't know, I, I felt like he was misunderstood as a type of character and you could see where his heart lay and I just wanted good things for him so I, I thought this was really sweet and quite an interesting read. I think when books are this short and similar with The Hedge Witch, it's a real art to being able to tell a story in this length of a book and still have that story have characters that the reader cares about and a plot that the reader feels invested in. And I definitely think I did for this. Of course, as per the rest of the evening, I haven't yet run this through Corpile. I have run the other two through Corpile, which I obviously already said that I'd rated them, but I haven't run this through Corpile yet. But I feel like it's possibly going to come out as a 3.5 to 4-ish, maybe? I don't know, I need to run it through, but I've finished my third book of the evening. So I've got my little wrap-up stack there. I'm quite pleased with myself, to be honest. I know that they're short books, however, I felt so slumpy all of this month, and I just haven't really been able to kick it yet. So... Yeah, managed to actually finish three books. So if I happen to read nothing else throughout the whole of September, I have read these three books. I hope you've enjoyed coming along on this vlog with me. I just wanted to set myself the challenge to be able to motivate myself and also just to have a nice cozy evening, which this has definitely been. I've just had candles going. I've just been sat under my blanket. It's, I'll be honest, it's not quite cold enough to really utilize the blanket, but I've been trying to make it work. I love the summer very, very much, but I am also a lover of the autumn and this time of year. But it's at that in-between stage at the moment where I'm not wearing a jacket out yet, but I can feel it turning. So yeah, it wasn't quite cold enough to sit under the blanket, but I sat under it anyway, because it's very cozy. My grandma made me this blanket at the start of this year. So I'm really excited to be able to use it again for the colder months. Thank you so much to anyone who has watched this video. Thank you again to Serious Readers for working with me in partnership for this video. I have been using the reading lamp the whole time I've been sat here reading. It's it's on right now. It's, it's definitely something that I'm really finding incredibly helpful. So as I said, all the links that you need will be down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please do give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite read has been of the month so far. Mine out of these three, because these are the only three I've finished this month so far, has been extraordinary. I just absolutely love being back in that world and cannot wait for more. So that was fantastic. You can subscribe to see more of my face on your feed. You can also find a link down below to my online shop and my Patreon where I do lots of extra content. Thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling and stay positive.